reality TV at its finest. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 shocking 90-day fiancé scandals. For this list, we're taking a look at the craziest and most shocking scandals involving 90-day fiancé contestants, including those from the show's many spin-offs. Number 10. Jay Smith's Infidelity You know, um, as I said before, if I could go back and change it, I would, and never messed up. This guy and cheating scandals go together like green cards and marriage proposals. Ashley Martson met Jay Smith while on vacation in Jamaica. However, just days after returning home from their wedding in Las Vegas, Ashley discovered that Jay had been talking to another woman on Tinder. I found out that Jay had made a profile for a dating app and was talking to multiple women. Furious, Ashley threatened her new hubby with a divorce, but ultimately decided to stay with him. Well, until he cheated on her a second time, that is. <sighs> Jay was caught yet again by Ashley, who had finally had enough. Amidst claims that Jay had cheated on her numerous times, the two divorced later in 2019. Life is much better. Good. <laughs> um, it was very rough, but you know, I got over it and yeah. I'm just kind of moving forward. Number nine, Luis Mendez gets married again. I should be more excited today than I was today he got off the plane. And I'm frustrated. Watching Luis creepily talk about boys with Molly's daughter was one of the cringiest moments in 90 Day Fiancé history, but nothing tops what he did to her after they were married. The Dominican Republic native and Molly Hopkins both said I do in July of 2017. However, the two had had enough the following January and officially divorced in May of 2018. I'm actually horrified because he doesn't need to talk to you about that. I'll talk to him about it. I'm going to talk to him, but I think it's weird. While we understand that marriage does not automatically equate to a lifetime of bliss, the fact that Luis remarried just five months after his divorce was finalized begs the question. Did he ever love Molly, or was he simply using her to get a K-1 visa? We'll let you draw your own conclusions. <clears throat> Sleazebag. I signed on to have a partner, a husband, only but that's not how it The was. only person mad is you. You're not coming with a smile. Number eight, Angela Deem is arrested for DUI. I hit that man in the head. My nails that broke. Phone is so nice. I couldn't so get him in the back. Georgia native Angela Deem appeared in seasons two and three of 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days, as well as the seventh season of 90 Day Fiancé. During the shooting of the former, Deem was pulled over for speeding. The officer noted a strong alcohol odor coming from inside the vehicle. Despite her claim that it was emanating from the man in the back seat, and not as the officer suspected from her mouth, Deem was arrested and charged with driving under the influence. It was very um, embarrassing to me and insulting. You said it, you did it, you meant it, that's it. Seeing as how 90 Day Fiancé is a reality show with a penchant for attracting self-destructive individuals, it's not exactly surprising to learn the show welcomed her back with open arms. Don't ask me to have y'all, baby. I can tell it. I just need your egg. Number seven, rumors surrounding the paternity of Rachel Bear's second child. It was like a car wreck. You didn't want to look, but you couldn't take your eyes off of it. Okay, full disclosure, this scandal may not seem as bad as some of the others on our list, but if it's true, it's a whopper. American single mom Rachel Bear met Englishman John Walters through a karaoke app, and the former soon found herself traveling across the pond to meet him. I would move to England if I could. However, some claimed that the two had already met and that Lucy, Rachel's infant daughter, was in fact John's. The only proof that the rumor mill has been able to produce is that Rachel has never named the child's father, and the fact that John looks like Lucy. I don't want to ask permission. I want to be able to fight for the right to be with my wife. Rachel has vehemently denied the rumors time and time again, and there doesn't appear to be any factual evidence in favor of the supposed scandal. So for now, case closed. Number 6. Revenge Taken on Karini Martins This scandal is just plain weird. You're determined not to talk, aren't you? You know. Shortly after the premiere of season two of 90 Day Fiancé Before the 90 Days, Paul Stale took to social media to announce that Karini was the victim of a revenge porn scheme and that he needed fans' help in tracking down the perpetrator. The reality is really starting to sink in. His post also included lewd pictures of Karini that Paul claimed were being posted online by Karini's ex. So to raise awareness, you decided to post the pictures yourself? 
Paul then got into a social media war with the man in the photos, who claimed that they had been edited. He went on to claim that Karini, quote, sent me lots of videos of herself doing all types of wild stuff. Yep, that's definitely a scandal. It definitely scars you. I still have different lingering doubts that are festering. Number five, Corey Rathjaber is arrested for driving under the influence. All right, so that's it, huh? Dad, this is it. Another 90 Day Fiance star, another DUI. Corey Rathjaber, who appeared on season one of 90 Day Fiance The Other Way, was arrested in November of 2019 for driving under the influence. The arrest occurred in his home state of Washington just one month after the show concluded. Like, I don't want to be put in a situation like that. I have everything with me. It's not cool. Ralph Jabur had been driving home from a brewery when he was pulled over and refused to take a breathalyzer test. However, the officer administered other sobriety tests, which Ralph Jabur failed. Back at the police station, he blew a .133, well over the legal limit of .08. Despite a court date being set for summer 2020, Ralph Jabir returned to Ecuador to be with his wife, Evelyn. I have never seen anything like this before. Clearly, this scandal is far from over. She doesn't want to live in the United States, doesn't, never has. Number four, the allegations against Jason Hitch. The next 90 days are gonna be tough. I hope that I can fix all that. Tumultuous. That's the word we would use to describe this relationship. Jason and Cassia met on Facebook, and she eventually moved to the United States to be with him, with the two later marrying. However, things quickly began to unravel when Cassia realized Jason was a pathological abuser. While fans had long been aware of his penchant for verbally attacking his wife, in 2018, they discovered the full extent of his abuse. I am upset. I just say things that is in my head without caring about if I will hurt him, I just say. It turns out that Jason had long been physically abusive to Cassia, and that year he was arrested and charged with domestic violence. Cassia told fans that Jason, quote, blames me for calling the police and he does not take responsibility for his violent act. The two divorced shortly after. Hey, uh, thanks for meeting with us. This is my wife, Cassia. We are a husband and wife team, and we've started this company called GiftingFun.com. Number three, Mohammed cheating on Danielle. She was like be like sitting on the floor crying screaming in front of her teenagers i want my sex tonight few 90 day fiance couples endured as many scandals as this one Mohammed and danielle's relationship was built on lies and deception and it wasn't long before their marriage began to implode you need to explain me everything so i can understand and by that we mean Mohammed bounced the moment he got his green card in 2018, Danielle sat down with In Touch to discuss her ex-husband's numerous infidelities, which she claimed were grounds for deportation. According to her, Mohammed had been in contact with multiple women on social media, one of which he moved in with shortly after getting his green card. I met Louisa online. She was very supportive, and uh, she's always like making me feel good about stuff and give me advice. He drew such ire from fans that they created a change.org petition to have him deported. It failed, Danielle and Mohammed divorced, and the latter now lives in Texas. Number two, George Nava is arrested for drug possession. When I tell Anfisa I can't buy something, she's not really good at compromising. We all knew this one was going to show up eventually. While we'd love to sink our teeth into the roller coaster of emotions that is George and Anfisa's relationship, we only have enough time for one scandal in this entry. Being with somebody that thrives on a conflict like that. In February of 2018, Arizona police found 293 pounds of marijuana in the trunk of George Nava's car. For those of you who may not be aware, that's a lot. He was arrested but later released on bail. Nava claims that he was originally looking at around 24 years behind bars, but that his lawyer was able to get his sentence reduced to two and a half years. Despite this, Anfisa claims she will wait for her husband to be released. Aw, true love does exist. She's gonna be with me throughout this whole process. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Larissa Dos Santos Lima's arrests. 
Where's my flowers? Larissa has had multiple run-ins with the law since coming to the United States to marry Colt. 2018 saw her being arrested twice, including a bizarre incident where Las Vegas police arrested her on suspicion of domestic battery after she posted a desperate plea for help on Instagram. In both cases, the charges were dropped. This was not the case in 2019 when Larissa was charged with misdemeanor domestic violence for attacking Colt and bloodying his face. The last couple of days have been hell. Larissa was arrested the second time for domestic violence. To make matters worse, she allegedly inflicted wounds on her own face in an attempt to incriminate Colt. Larissa was forced to pay a small fine and ordered to complete 48 hours of community service. Colt and Larissa divorced that same year. Yes, I'm really excited to celebrate my freedom, finally. <laughs> finally. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.